whether you're a creator like me. A developer. A gamer. Or just someone who loves to watch movies on their PC. खड़े खड़े क्या खुजा रहा है? मेरा भी खुजा दे। रहने दे मिट गए खुजले। हम्म। Zorin OS is a system who cares for everyone, and by that I literally meant everyone. It's faster, simpler, easier. and a lot more secure than windows and after using it for a week i'm ready to make the switch and by the end of the video i'm going to ask are you now the story began at 19 september i got the news and then i visited the website it made pretty big claims and then i saw this and then i looked at mine that was the moment i thought let's give it a try not because i liked the flashy features but because of the desktop which looked a lot better than mine along with the speed efficiency which claimed to be faster than windows and i really wanted to try something which claimed to be faster and better than windows and promised a lot better stability across the system because i was done with windows so I downloaded the ISO, flashed it in a USB, booted my laptop with it, and then started the installation. Just hitting next a bunch of times, and that's it. Solid OS was installed in just a few minutes. It took less than the time I'd spend eating my lunch. Yeah, I'm a slow eater. If you consider eating a lot of calories for lunch, yep, I eat a lot. And then it booted. the beautiful looks and design of the desktop not just the system itself but all the apps across the system shared the same design just as the desktop and not just system applications which came with zorin os but mostly all sort of applications which had a gui and then the first thing which struck into my mind was to update the drivers because that's what i used to do on windows but then i realized Most of the components of my PC were already running pretty greatly and that's when I realized that most of the general drivers and codecs are pre-installed within the ISO and are already installed during the installation of the system and that applies to every Linux distribution but still I wanted to do something so I thought let's just update the system itself along with all the pre-installed applications and drivers to the latest version and then I opened the best most powerful tool of all time the terminal all i had to do was just enter one command line and the whole system along with all the drivers and codecs along with all the applications installed whether proprietary system or some install i myself all of them updated once every driver every application every update was downloaded and then installed without me doing anything and that was the fastest update i've ever felt like updating all of this shit on windows would take hours and hours of time but on linux just a couple of minutes and then everything was up to date i rebooted the system and it was time to make the desktop my own and i started my journey of zorin os Now the first thing I wanted to do was test the performance of the new system. This is some sort of benchmark I do on always all the systems I install and that lets me understand the performance and efficiency of the system. So I just head to my browser and typed grunk.io and started a game and it was giving me an unbelievable 144 fps and it was not going down from 120 fps. That level of performance is amazing. I usually get around 90 to 100 FPS on Windows, but on Linux, I was getting 
120 plus FPS at constant rate. And the gameplay was pretty amazing. I set the maximum graphics it could go and the game went pretty smoothly. Now you might think like why am I running a web version game of something? Why don't I just install a proper game? Well the reason's pretty obvious. In India, it's pretty hard to grab that amount of data. Because 5G is still not yet implemented properly here. The day it will be, I'll be doing benchmarks of all the games I could lay my hands on. But right now, I have a bunch of games like Distance which you saw in the intro and Crunker.io which runs on any web browser. But after the benchmark, I also wanted to test the real world performance of what I do, content creation. For that, I installed Kden Life, a non-linear video editing software which is completely open source and free and it is almost as equal to the Wing Resolve in terms of features and enhancements. And it installed in just one command. Sudo apt install Kden Life, that's it. It was around 170 MBs and there we go. Now to test the performance of it, first I imported some clips and exported them. Now there is one thing to note that Kden Live does not support hardware acceleration at all. All the things which will be run by CPU only. Even the integrated GPU won't be used. So the performance was definitely supposed to go down. But it didn't fail. Of around 20 minutes of clips, I was getting around like 10 minutes of export time which is pretty fine in my opinion. Exporting 120 FPS is really something. Even on the Wing Resolve, I get around 144 FPS with the help of GPU. While in Kden Life, it just took CPU to give me that level of performance. That is something. And now it is time for the conclusion. From the longest of time, I've never installed Linux on my main computer. It's always been a virtual machine or an external SSD never alongside my windows. But this time, things have changed. Sorin OS has changed my mind and I'm gonna install it alongside Windows and Chrome OS. Yes, it's gonna be a triple boot system which creates a lot of hassles, but I'll be fine I believe. And I'll try my best to do all my work into Linux instead of Windows. Especially video editing, photo editing and a lot of content creation and that sort of stuff. And as you know, I use the Wing Resolve. So Linux also has the Wing Resolve and it runs natively. But there are a few minorities here and there which will be fixed. Hope so. So yeah, the journey of Linux is gonna be great. Now I have been using Linux as a secondary operating system from years. And still I have a long way to go and learn a lot more about Linux. As you can see, I'm still a kid. So yeah, it's gonna be a long journey but it's gonna be an enjoyable and joyful journey. And in the meantime, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you do, then subscribe for more quality Linux videos uploaded on this channel. And I'll meet in the next video. Till then, I'm Oom, signing out. And tell me in the comments, what do you think about this video? And are you gonna try ZoinOS yourself or not? And in terms of quality, how was this video? Because this was the only, the first video I've made which spent hours and hours of time and it took around like a whole day to shoot the video and record and edit. So let me know in the comments what do you think about it and I'll meet in the next video. Till then, I am Um signing out.